my fabulous reading friends, it's Ani. I'm so glad you came to read with me. If you want to learn more about my channel, where to contact me, or how to find merch, check out AniSouse.com. Are you ready for a story? Captain Corsebeard is the fiercest pirate on the seven seas. He's not afraid of anything. Well, maybe just one. Let's find out what it is as we read The Mighty McCracken. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Annie's House! Like and subscribe to Annie's House. The Mighty McCracken. Written by Izzy B. Illustrated by Ben Askew. One fine day at sea, Captain Corsebeard was busy setting off to find the greatest golden treasure of all when he noticed a small one-man vessel coming about. What one man has the moxie to challenge Captain Corsebeard? The terror of the seven seas! When the captain saw the enemy's flag, he hid and screamed, It's, 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 the McCracken! The crew huddled and hugged as a hook hung from the deck, hoisting up the McCracken! But the hook happened to be an umbrella handle which belonged to a little old lady. I'm looking for Gregory, she explained. We don't have a Gregory on board and we don't take orders from frail old ladies. The pirate crew agreed with a blast of nasty burps. <coughs> Gregory is the captain of this rude, crude pirate crew. I'm his first grade teacher, Mrs. McCracken. I hear he's been naughty. If you won't tell me where he's hiding, you'll go to time out. After a long time in time out, the first mate took Mrs. McCracken to Davy Jones' locker. Gregory? What did I tell you about hiding when we make a mistake? If you make a mistake, it's a piece of cake. To learn from it and make it great. That's better. I'm here to help get that sweet, giddy Gregory Gregory back. Just then, Captain Corsebeard's crew came up on one of His Majesty's ships full of great golden treasures. They aimed their cannons ready to attack. Good day! We'll be coming aboard to steal your treasure, you silly sea dogs. Gregory, what did I teach you about using kind words? We say thank you. We say please. We never interrupt our teas. Er, uh, can we please come aboard and steal your treasure? Oh, sure, the commander said. The crew swung aboard and the captain drew his cutlass. Now you'll be giving us all your great golden treasures. Gregory? What did I teach you about sharing? When we share, it shows we care. Sir, may we share some of your great golden treasures? Well, since you did ask nicely, I guess so, the commander said. The commander handed Captain Corsebeard a golden candlestick and a small silver snail statue. Definitely not the greatest golden treasure of all. Captain Corsebeard grumbled. Arr! Gregory, what do we say when someone gives you a gift? When you get a gift, there's something you must do. Look them in the eye and say, thank you. Thank you, sir, the captain mumbled. 
Now, Commander, ye be walking the plank. Gregory? What did I tell you about picking on others? Treat others like you'd want them to treat you. With a hug, a smile, and a how do you do? The captain put floaties and a round inner tube on the commander, then a snorkel, flippers, and goggles. Well done, Gregory, Mrs. McCracken whispered. Now I have a treasure for you. It's gold, Captain Corsebeard yelled. It's beautiful. It's great. That's the greatest golden treasure I've been searching for. Mrs. McCracken boarded her tiny boat and sailed off into the horizon. I'll be back with more gold stars for more star students. Because good manners are as good as gold. Good manners are important, even for pirates. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.